Hi, and welcome back to another weekly training tips with me, Pat Quinn, co-owner and head trainer here at Champs Doghouse. Uh, thank you so much to our friends over at Mount Laurel Animal Hospital for seeing the importance in dog training and the holistic approach to taking care of your dog. So I have a special guest with me today. It's uh, actually one of my dogs, an 11 year old boxer named Chuck. So yes, he's wearing a diapy and he's absolutely amazing. And what he's going to demonstrate for us today is bad behavior. Um, I saw my daughter, uh, uh, she had a good dinner and she had a little bit of extra chicken on her plate, wanted to give it to Chuck and he sort of took it like a butthead. Uh, he was really just chomping away, he was just super excited. Uh, he's an otherwise extremely gentle dog, uh, especially with our girls and um, so I was a little bit shocked to see that. Um, so hey, the mechanic's car breaks down and every once in a while the trainer's dog has an issue. So you're going to see hopefully he takes it uh, like a little bit um, overbearing at first and now what we're going to look to do is, is um, teach him to uh, t take his, uh, his, his uh, chicken a little bit nicer or dog kibble or treat, whatever you're giving your dog. Well. That time he took it kind of nice. So if we don't, if he's good for me and not my daughter's, I wouldn't be surprised. You see how that time he took it nicer? You, when you put it down and they go to jump at your hand and to really just bite, nip your hand, whatever, the complete disregard for your hand, I want you to take your hand away. And then try again. They do it again, take your hand away. Remember, this is for a puppy, not an aggressive dog. You see the difference? So he wasn't that out of control, but hopefully you were able to see a difference and maybe this time we'll be fine. That time he was fine. So um, what this relates to is a food bowl drill. So when uh, you go to put your, the food bowl down, if your dog rushes in, watch that video, if you just withhold or even just take back an inch or two, what you're telling your dog is no. You rushing to get your food, uh, or in this case, you jumping out my hand, gets you further away from the food. So maybe in your mind or um, uh, in that proximity, that space, yes, it theoretically gets you closer, but not, not in practice. You sitting there and being patient, calming your thinking down, relaxing, waiting for me, your leader, get you your food when you give me what I want in a partnership way. You just happen to be the lead partner. So uh, thanks again for hanging out with me and my dog Chuck. Um, you can use this with your dog, a small handful of dogs, let's say maybe about a tenth of dogs as puppies. Um, they're, they're a little bit overbearing um, with, with going to get the food out of your hand or a tug toy um, or the tennis ball. Just do the takeaway. Same thing as a food bowl, same exact concept. Um, but just rolled out uh, with a different um, uh, treat or something that your dog derives of value. Anyway, we hope to see you next time.